Welcome back. This cracks me up. The world's largest organized underwear run began in Washington, D.C. six years ago. And this year it is happening in 36 cities, including right here in Milwaukee, for the first time ever. And while the event is clearly designed to be fun, it has a serious purpose. Since its inception, more than $8 million have been donated to the Children's Tumor Foundation. Here with more details on the Undie Run in Milwaukee are the co-race directors. We have Bridget Leach and Hillary Rasmussen, along with Megan Fisher. Her son has a genetic disorder that is called NF. Great to see you, ladies. Thank Thanks you for so having much. Us. And you yes. actually wore your undies, right? Uh, yes, you the uh, undies. we do. A couple wore of the undies, 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 undies on. See? Look at that. I like it. <laughs> with, with tights, I see. Yes, yes. We are on TV. So. <laughs> Appropriate, yeah, right? we're warming up for next weekend. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So now 36 cities are doing the undie run like it's been done in other places, including Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be exciting for all of you that it, now that there's this local race. Yeah, very yeah. exciting. That's Actually, awesome. Bridget ran into the race in Chicago a couple years ago and mm -hmm. submitted for it to come to Milwaukee. And so we are one of three. Yep, three, three new, new cities, cities this year. year. That is wonderful. What happens at the Undies Run? <laughs> well, you can expect it drinking. to be a lot <laughs> yeah. of drinking. I have to. Day to day run around day. Day. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Yeah. As a mom, yes. yes. Liquid yes. courage. It's essentially a giant party with a one-mile fun run, a brief run in the middle. <laughs> get it? Yes. Get it. But it's supposed to be a lot of fun, yes, right? Absolutely. That's the point, is for people to get out, have a good time for a good cause. Um, Megan, let's talk a little bit about, you have two boys. I do. Right? How old are they? Um, I have a four-year-old, Hayden, and then a almost two-year-old, Patrick. Okay, now Patrick is the one who has NF, is that correct? He does, yep. What is that, and how has that affected him? Sure. Um, neurofibromatosis is the name of the neurological disorder. Um, I found out when he was almost six months old, I, I always thought something was wrong, a little bit. I, I told my mom so many times, I'm like, something's just off about Patrick. Um, I started noticing these spots all over him. They're called cafe au lait spots. They're kind of like, well, cafe au lait. <laughs> um, like, look like coffee yeah, stains Yeah, like coffee almost. stains on your body. Um, and I Googled like any good mom does um, to figure out what it was mm -hmm. um, and kind of self-diagnosed and went, went to a few specialists to determine. So Patrick's life could be affected in many different ways. So far, he's had a couple of MRIs. He just learned how to eat food. Um, he's had a lot of speech physical therapy. Um, but people who deal with NF will have a lot of things come up throughout their life. So it affects their development as well as their cognitive abilities? It can affect abilities. cognitive. It actually affects everyone very, very differently with NF. Um, a lot of people could go their entire life with very few complications, but majority of people have cognitive, um, a lot of learning disabilities, um, and then a lot of physical um, deformities and tumors that grow all over their body. Mm -hmm. This this run and, and this particular cause is for kids of all different types of tumors, is that right? Yeah, so it's um, the money directly benefits the Children's Tumor Foundation who does is the leading research for NF. So the party itself, the Cupid Dundee Run, is for 21 and older because it is partnered, we partner with a bar, um, but we, we do tie in the NF element um, because we know many children that have been affected. So it, it can affect anyone of any age, um, but the event itself is 21 and up. Okay, <laughs> got it. Yep. And is it specifically for NF or is it yes. any type of tumor in children? No, it's specifically for NF and, and the founder, the Leathers family, um, they started it because their brother Drew actually was a totally normal high school kid who was involved in sports and started to come down with a lot of complications. He was diagnosed with NF in high school. Um, this year, we will toast to Drew. Drew passed away in August um, due to complications of NF. And they started this charity as the Tumen Haters. Um, and they started... Um, thinking of ways to raise money that was also fun because no one wants to just raise money. Mm -hmm. um, they started the Cupid's Undy Run in D.C. And okay. since then, it's been exploding um, all over. Well, and I think that's the thing. You know, you, br you bring up a really good point. The guy who's doing the cartwheel in his underwear <laughs> just cracks me up. But I think you bring up a good point, is it's one thing to be part of an event, to give money, to donate money, to support a good cause. But when you do something... Um, that's fun, yeah. that sort of attracts attention mm -hmm. because it's a little bit something off the beaten path, yeah. so to speak, and it's in the winter yeah. um, that people are wearing <laughs> their undies. 
I think it lends itself to generating that much more interest and enthusiasm for something like this that's so important. Absolutely, yeah. and I think something that we kind of say in To Pitch the Run is it can be very uncomfortable for someone with NF to live a normal life. So the reason we wear our underwear is to put ourselves in an uncomfortable situation because it's a judgment-free zone. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's a great reason to wear your underwear and support this cause. Strip great to down. meet all of you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for sharing your story too, Megan. We want make, to make sure that people will head out. It is the day before Valentine's Day. It is not this Saturday. It is next Saturday, February 13th from noon until 4 with the one mile fun undie run that happens <laughs> at 2 o'clock. You can find them all hanging out in their undies at Uglies on <laughs> Old Third Ward. You can even just go probably to watch if you don't want to participate. In the run. <laughs> yeah. Apple do. And you can find out more and register for the run by visiting this website. It is Cupid's UndieRun.com. Yeah. Thanks again, you guys. Thank you for having us. It. And they have undies that you can get if you register. You, we brought you a pair oh. as well, actually. Awesome. But, um, underwear and socks are okay. always earned, so you oh, earn you have them to earn for those. levels of fundraising. Oh, that's so. a great pair of underwear. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so yes. much, you guys. <laughs> I'm with Cupid. But you raise funds to earn socks and underwear and other goodies along the way, including open bar. I like it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, you guys. Thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you.